be getting his Oscar, and I say, well, it's uh, perfectly simple. When people see his new film, Machine Gun Preacher, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. Please welcome Jerry Butler. this film. I saw it today and it's a spectacular job. I, I know that you probably think I'm yanking your chain because I've known you for a while. But <laughs> really, I watched it and I thought, gosh, I didn't know you were this good. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were good and everything and hunky and attractive, but <laughs> would you, you know, yeah. No, I know, by the way, if anybody wasn't um, digging my performance, I know you'd be the first to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not going to be too close. Oh, no. So, um, we do not cost on this show, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? You look, well, you look kind of uh, windswept a little bit. What is, what's been going on? I was, just, I was just saying to a producer, actually, I don't think I've ever gone on to a show so kind of funky. You know, it's finally I get to... I don't think we're a suit going on. Like, I'm getting a chance to be a little Elvis right now. Yeah, yeah, well, why are you being so funky? Have what? you got an album coming out? Don't do it, man. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't be one of them actors that are like, well, actually, what I really want to, oh, baby, I want you. Oh, you know what I mean? No, I hate singing. Um, well, no, I don't. Uh, you never know. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera, yep. Yeah. I'm not. Well, that may be the first time I was on here. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was when Andy that. McDowell was here, remember that? Oh, yeah. And then she was here, and then you sniffed the seat. I sniffed yeah. the seat. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. And it, I actually kissed the seat. Yeah. But it looked like I was sniffing the seat after she sat there. So well, that's much classier, <laughs> kissing the seat. <laughs> Have you been way back down in your ages? Hey, did uh, you learn to fly? Well, I, I know, well, I've been helicopter. I've been flying a helicopter. Helicopter? No, I know. It's what the hell? And so I have, like, I've been flying in Hawaii. I've been flying here in L.A. I'm flying in New York. Um, yeah, are you working for a major airline? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have, like, 40, 45 hours, but I haven't flown for a few months now because I went off to make uh, another movie and I came back. And now I'm surfing because I'm about surfing? to do a surf movie. No, 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 be careful with that because that's the sharks involved. <laughs> Yeah, there is. Yeah, you know, you want to know the greatest concentration of great white sharks is in America? Right, along Malibu it. Beach, out there, man. That's yeah, that's where they are. They're like, where's Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you don't care. Loads of dolphins. Dolphins sing, there, yeah. That's, that's the one to beat this weekend, my friend. Oh, by the way, okay, can I just tell you something? Craig and I made a movie, um, and it's, I love that he's, you know, talking about how this is about a dolphin that loses its tail. Because we made why, a movie. Why, man? Why are you breaking this up? Because okay, we made a movie called How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. About a boy. Dragon. I've got a boy who befriends a dragon who loses his damn tail. Yeah. Yeah. And he has to build a tail. Wait. I'm listening to it. Really? Is he really? Wait, but wait. I think the movie we did was an animated movie. That's a good point. Yeah, as opposed to a movie that involved, you know, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man, I know. We were, we were doing press for this movie, and we couldn't take... I mean, we totally loved the movie. Yeah, great great movie yeah. But we couldn't really take the press seriously, so we'd do these interviews, and we'd be on the phone together, like five journals at a time, and we just didn't give a serious answer no, to anything. They got mad at it. And these journals went, well, you boys grow up and actually answer the questions that we were asking you. And we're like this, looking at each other, like, hey, I... I <laughs> I no. totally felt scolded. It was really, it was, yeah. I was like, oh, could you come over and pull my hair a bit and do that again? <laughs> I think she did just come and pull my hair just before I walked on. This is yeah. great. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of California. You look a bit California when you're surfing and stuff like that. Yeah? yeah. Are you any good at the surfing? Not really, no. But um, Can you stand up? I can stand up. On a surfboard? <laughs> on, on a <laughs> then you're good. No, I've been... Um, I, I Actually, I'm getting pretty good. I'm getting pretty... I don't think I'll get to the stage that I'm supposed to be at, which is like one of the best big wave surfers ever. You look at to surf the big waves. Are you the Hawaiian ones? Uh, no, in Maverick. Mavericks? Mavericks? Yeah, but they're only oh, 60 footers, yeah. so... Yeah. <laughs> it's not... It's not a problem. Uh, you've been surfing and you, you haven't been attacked by a shark then? I haven't been attacked by a shark. Be careful because it only takes one. <laughs> I 
was, I was, uh, I was uh, swimming with sharks uh, a couple of a year ago, maybe, and it, I mean, they're frightening. Oh, I heard you did. The, yeah, did the Shark Week. Yeah, the Shark Week. <laughs> I, I, by the way, I've been playing. But I was down after the, this movie, Machine Gun Preacher. I went down uh, to Cape Town. And we all went out one night, and the next morning we had we were supposed to go out with the Great Whites. Right. Everybody went except me, because I'd finished my movie, I woke up, I said, I am too damn tired, I'm not going out there. They all went out, yeah. and they came home, and they wanted to make me feel bad, so they're like, it was amazing, we saw like a hundred Great Whites. It turns out they didn't see one Great White. They were freezing, yeah. the worst day, so I'm going to add best sleep. But if you, here's the thing, man, you know, if you go out diving, and you don't see any Great Whites, that's awesome. No. <laughs> Was up. <laughs> you don't want it. You don't want to see him. So how was it? Was it? It was, it was all right. There were no great whites though, which is good. I saw a hammerhead and I saw a bunch of uh, Caribbean reef, reef sharks. Reef sharks. Yeah, they're, they're about, about 14 foot. Not oh, really, about six, but 14 <laughs> foot. 14 foot if you're telling girls. You know what I mean? Well, about 30, 30 foot. I didn't know they came that size. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, it was good. Do you do? do you what do you say? Why do women make such bad parkers? Because men tell them, you know, back your park, you say parkers here in your parking cars? Because men tell them that this is six inches. <laughs> The old ones are the best. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice to remember the old country, isn't it? Many of the jokes we have as children. <laughs> why, why did that? Can I tell one more? Hey, it looks like we were edited, Jerry. What the hell? It's not... almost as if you told a story which was so filthy. <laughs> What? So dripping in sexuality that it, you know, the American viewing public wasn't ready for it, apparently. Are you alive? Is it, well, is he no, like no, you can't, you can't say that on TV, man. You cannot. There's say what? No, you, what you said. <laughs> okay. I'm not experienced in this hour of talk shows, man. Yeah, yeah, well, let yeah. me tell you. Wait, you're a Michael Jackson joke? No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> Look, the best thing you do is to stay in the, the theme of this show and tell no jokes. <laughs> 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 that way, that way, you know, we're almost out of time. We have to very quickly do the, uh, the, uh, how do you want to get out of here? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or go, or go for the big cash prize. Uh, uh you choose. I, 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 the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Yeah. No. Hey, he hasn't won it yet. <laughs> this is at $50 in singles, all right? Um, you buy yourself, you get your, get your board waxed for $50. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, we working in the, in the traveling carnival like years ago when I was out here, and they paid us like literally we earned two thousand dollars, most of which they paid us in dollars. This traveling carnival, and we went this traveling, traveling in the country carnival that with, paid this, you in six. with this like literally ordering rounds, like seventy dollar rounds. And we're going, thank you, thank you. Here, one, two, three. Four. We just have piles of cash, but fifty. I used to get paid in singles when I was dancing. <laughs> When I was teaching the ladies how to park. <laughs> you, know. you ready? Yeah. All right, you have to answer one question. Okay. One question, and you can win the big cash prize. Okay. All right, here's the, here's the question. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> then the capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay, here's the question. Okay. How tall is Regis Philbin? <laughs> Uh, five foot eight. Five foot seven. Four feet seven. <coughs> five foot five. Yes! 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 Break me and Jeff were popping and locking. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. There was a dance off. Me and Jeff versus them. <laughs> and we won, did you? Yeah. You got fair. My next guest is a very attractive actress. She stars in a show called Two Broke Girls, which is on Mondays on a network called uh, CBS at 8 30. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the hell? 
talking to Sue, man. I'm doing my job, you know? Well, go on, man. Yeah, I'm doing my thing, all right? The thing is, she is very attractive. I kind of love... When I said how attractive she was, I kind of forgot what I was saying because I remembered how attractive she was. <laughs> what, what, what were you saying? See? That happened to you as well. Take a look at this. <laughs> I'm very attracted to this nail polish. Oh, right? Yeah, it's a little bit twilight. What? Well, not twilight, maybe a little... Well, what is it, goth? A little twilight bit... Twilight of my darkness of my soul? Dark, yeah, that's what I meant. A kind of hot topic thing going it, on. Eh? Wow. Dare you, Greg? No, it's no, a joke. It's, it's a joke. It's, it's a joke. It's, it's, it's glittery and angry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Me. Yeah. I'm glittery and angry. I noticed that you and Jerry Butler knew each other or else do you? Do. Yeah, how did you? No, he's lying. No, really? Yeah. Why? I mean, the, why would he lie to you? Never trust anyone with... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> do you know that I'm No. I do it all the time. <laughs> how are you doing on this uh, CBS show? Are they treating you all right? Oh, I'm loving it. Really? Yeah. Wow. I've never, I mean, I have had good moments on movie sets and stuff, but I've never had a moment like I had on Tuesday. We shoot, on, we do the show night on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. And I actually said to myself, not out loud, come on. Um, I was like, I love my job. I love you say, say out loud. You should look in the mirror in the morning before you leave house and say, I love my job, I'm smoking hot, I'm rich, and I'm going to buy... I'm not rich! You're not? True story, not rich. <laughs> so you admit you're smoking hot then? Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you in your own trap! Don't, don't put words in my mouth. All right, then. I've never looked in the mirror and said, you're smoking hot, bitch. You look amazing today. <laughs> But you don't say it like that, but you have to do something, you must have, that's just sarcastic, that would be, don't you have some kind of, I said it a bit like Porky Pig there, did you hear that, I went, I don't know what it is, oh I think it's like nail polish, it's kind of freaking Calm me out, Calm down. it's kind of sexy, it's kind of freaking me out, these aren't real nails, secret, <laughs> if you want them, I could literally peel one off and give it to you, do you want to see if I can do it? I don't know if that's legally allowed. I don't think it's ever been done before. On TV? Yeah. Or anywhere? You want to try? I don't know, man. I don't like trying new stuff on you have TV. A... <laughs> Does Jeffrey have a spare part I could use to... I don't know, Jeff. You got, you got a spare part here for Cat? Yeah, in my bag. Yeah. Well, now, now you're on, we're part of the CBS family, you'll meet Jeff at all the CBS events. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome when he does that? Watch this, it's great. Uh, look, blow, it, blow, what? Into, blow into this. Watch, and, and get him going. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, just do that. The mouth organ duel with Jeff, it's the best fun. Go. I'm... It, just go, it's fine. Just blow, hold it and blow. <laughs> Yeah. 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 See, he loves it. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like having your own pet. Hi. Who's the robot? Who's the little robot? Are you my robot? Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With you. <laughs> yeah. I think you kind of hold it. When he feels disrespected, he gets very angry. I'm not disrespecting you. I love you. Yes, I do, little robot. Please. Somebody get her a lozenge. <laughs> no, seriously. Watch, watch, watch. This is what you should do. Watch. show you all my stuff. Oh my god! You know, it's good. And so, you're doing the show. The show's about a girl who doesn't have any money and uh, works in a diner? Yes. There you are then. That sounds great. <laughs> Who's the other the young lady working with you? Beth Bear. She's an incredible actress. Very good, yes. She's wonderful. And she's my polar opposite on the show. She's you mean like you're untidy and stuff and she's tidy? I mean, we haven't delved into
into that genre of their character, but maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Do you share an apartment? Yes. She, I let her move into my apartment. Uh-huh. Is that code? <laughs> no. Uh, not CBS, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's not... 30, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, she moves under your apartment and we watch TV together. Yeah, we watch... In your watch, pajamas. Yeah. Got it. Uh-huh. We... It's true. Uh, we did have an episode where we were both in our pajamas, and our pajamas are so different. I would have expected that. Well, I have to say, it seems fair to do that, because women do seem to enjoy wearing pajamas in the company of other women, at least in the magazines I buy. <laughs> Pajama boy? I, I said, pajama <laughs> lesbian fun. No, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Good God. I know, I know. Well, look, here's the thing. I, I mean, you, you do your best. You turn up at the television studio or basement, and you do your best. Yeah. It was hard to get in here. I had to step over boxes and climb down a rope. <laughs> it's even harder to get out. <laughs> That's right. You know how you get out of here? Rub the lotion on its skin. Oh. Yeah. So you get up. <laughs> yeah. Jerry's waiting up there with a the bucket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's possible. No, actually. Listen, we're out of time, so what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause. Mouth organ you've kind of done, although I'm ready for another one right now. No. Uh, or we can go for the big cash prize. Uh. Two broke girls being a money situation. Let's do big cash prize. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. She hasn't won it yet. You're, well, you people don't if this is a say. geography question, I'm going to not win. P.S. Right, for sure. All right. For a start, smarty ass. P.S. Smarty ass. Before you say the extra thing, not at the end. So you don't say if this is a joke and then end it with P.S. You say P.S. and then you say the thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. You. I'm leaving. I'm so offended. I like that. <laughs> you hear about what you do? I'm so offended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was more stroking than drilling, but I'll take it. Oh. Uh, we'll go All right, you ready? This is for fifty dollars in singles. <sighs> okay. All right. This question involves, um, unfortunately, geography. <sighs> Shit. Iceland is in the north of Norway. Yeah. And the capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. Reykjavik. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. Mm. How much money did Bjork's last album make? Are we rounding up or are we being real specific? <laughs> In between ten dollars and fifty million dollars. Yes. Oh. Here's the trick of what's gonna happen. Okay. No matter what you say, I'm giving you this money. You. <laughs> you. So that the right answer? Yeah, it sure is. You can have that. <laughs> Thank you.